What's up everybody? This is Brian at Two Indians and I am trying to pull a fast one on my wife here. I'm going to take her bike and get it tuned. It's a completely stock bike, but I've got a Dynojet Power Commander 5 for it and um, it is Biketoberfest, the week of Biketoberfest, but I'm gonna take it and get it put on a dyno and see if I can get her better performance, uh, see if I can get it to run a little cooler, get some better gas mileage, but just overall try to improve the bike and uh, I'm trying to do this on the DL. I'm gonna make a quick run from the house out to Daytona. So anyway, I will see you guys out there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm even going to leave her good luck moose, Mr. Bullwinkle. <laughs> Can't even believe I said that. On the back of her bike. Not even going to take it off. You know what? Because I don't care. Here comes Brian cruising down the road with a Bullwinkle moose and some tassels. So, anyway, here we go. So after I left Orlando area, I was riding by myself and I came up behind these guys. The traffic was pretty heavy. They were trying to cut over and get to the faster lane and I just kind of held up traffic and waved them in. He pointed to his six off to his left and was basically motioning me to come up and join him for the ride. You know, you never want to stick your nose into somebody else's ride. I'm not sure if there's a correct hand signal to say, hey, come on and ride with us. But anyway, it was a nice ride together. It's kind of like when you're in your car and you're on a road trip and you're going real fast and you get a highway buddy that's trading off with you. And when it's time to break off and go your separate ways, you just kind of wave in your mind and say, take care, man, don't let the popo get you. Right safe guys, right safe. wants to see for fueling as far as uh, as far as the O2 sensors go. Uh, set the idle and decel so as it's slowing set the decel RPM so it kind of comes down more gradually and not so stabby on the RPM. Um, just in the rev and speed limits a little bit but a lot of it's timing.
awesome. You gonna make a timing adjustment, make some more feeling adjustments for your rock and roll. Hey. Well, it's been about an hour and a half now, and Josh is still working on the bike. He's checked it, double checked it, looked at all the maps, looked at all the readings. He's gonna take it for one more run on the dyno, see if he's happy with it. And then at that point, he says he's gonna be done. So I think he's gonna take off now, but um, so far, the guy is super detail-oriented. He definitely knows his stuff. <laughs> so these guys are experts with Indian and with Victory motorcycles. They've got a long history with both brands. It's done. Josh is going to get her all disconnected, back her down the trailer, and then we are out of here. I got to get back home before Barb gets home from work, or I'm going to be in trouble. All right, sir. There she is. We're all done. All right, right rock and roll. Uh, do you recall what the final torque was? So our final torque number is 112. It's still up there. 112. Well, 82 is that pretty horsepower? good for all stock? That's really good for all stock. They might make 90, 95 foot-pounds of torque no stock. No way. And so it's, it's a big deal doing timing. You really pick wow. up a lot of power. No kidding. Big low end power, big top end power. Right. Great rock and roll. Well, thanks so much, man. I really Thank appreciate you. all your hard yes. work. Thank oh, you. Yep. Hey, look, Josh got a sticker and he's uh, putting it on his laptop. Get you on there right now. Awesome. There he is. All right. Thanks, man. I Thank appreciate you. it. Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Well, we are all done at Coastal India. I'm going to fire this thing up and I am going to run the strip here at Biketoberfest. Um, here, I might as well do it anyway. It is getting kind of late. I got to get back to the house. And then the wife and I are going to go see some live music tonight. But anyway, Ben here, uh, Tim Sutherland, uh, Josh, all the guys here at uh, Coastal Indian, the Dino Boot uh, Coastal Performance. Uh, so far, I'm happy, but let's see the proof, right? All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I spilled the beans to Barbara about the tune that we just did. And you know what she asked me? How much money did you spend? <laughs> That's not important, honey. Don't worry about it. Um, but we're about ready to go out on a ride with some friends. It is Sunday. It's a couple days after I did the tune, but she hasn't had a chance to ride it yet. Looking forward to it. Yep. So we're going to see what she thinks about it, and we will report back.
Well, we've been out riding all day. Uh, we probably did what, about 125, 150 miles, something like that. Oh, I guess that, yeah. Yeah. I guess the main purpose of the ride was for me to get Barbara's impressions on the tune that we just did on her bike. Uh, but of course, you know, it's also to go out and have fun and ride, right? What did you think about the tune? What, What's your impression? I don't want to lead you or give you any... What do you think? So I was a little apprehensive at first because I don't like anyone touching my bike. <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel um, when you saw him drilling holes in it? <laughs> I was panicked when I saw that drill touch my bike. I will not lie. On the video. She was watching me edit the videos. <laughs> but overall, it was well worth it. It did have more get up and go. Mm -hmm. um, I did feel the temperature of the bike, especially when we were at stoplights today because we do live in Central Florida. It is hot as Hades out. <laughs> it did um, drop the temperature a couple of degrees. Okay. Definite notice. It's easier to catch up to you. Uh, is that because I'm riding too fast? Probably. <laughs> um, so you felt more power? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I did see, feel an increase in power. So those are the two major so it was noticeably, noticeably noticeably cooler yes okay and very was, happy you took my bike to do it yep just and, ask next time <laughs> uh i may not ask no. <laughs> uh, and it had more power one of the things she said to me when we were talking because we have comms on our helmets and we were talking she said uh she was describing the power to me and she said it gets up on plane a lot faster <laughs> which was funny because we're boaters right and uh, that's, she thought that was the best way to really describe it. Cause it's a it, good analogy. Yeah, it is a great analogy. It, it really just picks up speed a lot smoother, a lot faster, you yeah. said, right? It gets up on the yep. plane a little bit faster yep. than it did before. So right. I know it's not a boat, but right. it was a great analogy. So bottom line, guys, is even if you have a stock bike and you don't want to put a lot of money into pipes and intakes and cams and, you know, all that stuff, Get a tuner, they're anywhere from 350 or 300 to 400 dollars um, and put your bike on a dyno and get it tuned because you can get a lot of performance, uh, smoother operation, smoother power and for us Indian owners making it run cooler can be a big thing, right? Lifesaver. Yeah, right? Especially in Florida heat. Yep, and Coastal Indian, uh, those guys are the pros, uh, they did not compensate me for doing this at all they uh, they just had a great reputation and I thought that they would be the best people to do this and since they were in town for Biketoberfest that's who we got hooked up with so, uh, if they're in your town look them up schedule an appointment get with Ben and their guys and get your bike in there and get a tune because as you've heard honest testimonial it's really worth it definitely worth it all right, so hey, one last thing real quick before we go. If you don't know much about us besides this video, uh, we're two Indians. Two. <laughs> and uh, we travel, we do reviews, we do all kinds of stuff. And if you like our video, please subscribe to it. We, Hello. Yep, we would really appreciate it. And I'm also on Facebook at Ride With Two Indians. So thanks for checking it out. We really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you soon. <laughs>